everyone and welcome to another video by BioTeach. I just wanted to create this very randomly because we received news from BTEC today regarding a slight change in the assessment for Unit 3 on the Applied Science. Now Unit 3 is an exam based unit and usually the exam for that would either take place in January or in May or June. And you normally have around two weeks as a window to complete an experiment that BTEC give you. And then you have a written portion. So this particular unit has two parts, part A and part B. Because of all the COVID restrictions, BTEC have made a couple of changes that I wanna kind of just walk you through so that you understand how your exam might be super different in this particular academic year because of COVID. So the first thing I want to show you is this administrative support guide. This document is actually published on the BTEC website and your teachers should be able to access this. So if you are a student and you're watching this video, please make sure you ask your teachers to have a look at this because it might have been something that they've missed. And if they've missed it, they need to ensure that they've read this to understand exactly what's going on. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Unit 3 has two parts. The Part A part was traditionally an experiment. So this is where you had to work with the people in your group, usually in pairs, to gather data regarding an experiment that BTEC gave to us. So your school would help you prepare for this. And it was under supervision. You had to gather your data. You had to create a, a table of data. And you were allowed to take that data into the exam to complete the questions. But due to COVID, they are trying to restrict the amount of contact students have. And so in order to slow the spread of the virus, what they've done is they've changed the Part A assessment. The Part A assessment now will be issued to you on the day of Part B, the same day as your written part. And you will have 45 minutes to read through Part A and use that material to basically complete the questions for Part B. You will be formally supervised in exam conditions, so you're not allowed access to the internet, any smartphones, smartwatches, nothing like that when you're given Part A. And just as a reminder, you will have 45 minutes before you start Part B to look through Part A. Part B essentially has not changed at all. Part B will be given to you in the exam hall once Part A has been completed, and that's under formal examination conditions also. You've got an hour and a half worth of time to do your exam question. These exam questions will be very similar to what my previous videos have covered in terms of the types of questions, writing the method, so on and so forth. You will see at the bottom of this document here, it says part A and part B must be undertaken in a single session of two hours and 15 minutes on the date timetable by Pearson. So that basically means that part A and part B will be done in the same session. The other thing I would draw your attention to is what happens in the actual assessment. Teachers, tutors, any supervisors, any technicians, whoever is there is not allowed to give you as a learner any support in writing or editing the notes. And so we will give you the part A and you will have to do that independently. In that time, just as a reminder, you will not have access to the email or the internet and you will have to complete part B as soon as part A is done. The part A documents don't need to go to BTEC, not that you need to worry about that, but that's just for your schools or your colleges to ensure that they retain that. And part B would, will be what it is that they would mark um, in order to give you the final grade for this. And when you're doing part A and part B, there should be no communication between different candidates. So you won't be allowed to talk to your friends and share your ideas. It is exactly like an exam. So I hope that was super useful. Like I said, I only came across this document today when I was browsing the BTEC website. Your tutors or your exam team at school or college may already be aware of this. So you might already know and none of this is a surprise to you. But it certainly is news to me in the sense of BTEC changing the part A to remove the practical aspect. Now, some of you may be worried about the um, validity or the reliability of this particular assessment. And I would say that it still stands the reason I say that is because whilst even though they're going to give you that data, you still have to analyze it and you still have to pull out the correct information from it. So it's still not going to be a massively easy task. The other thing is some of you might be worried about missing 
the opportunity to do practicals and I would say I wouldn't stress about that too much what hopefully what your schools and colleges will do will give you an idea of how these practicals would be carried out and of course you've got access to the past paper questions and the past exams just generally on the BTEC website so you should still be able to revise from them and learn from them. If you've got any questions or any concerns about this at all, then please leave me a comment under this video and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that was super useful. Take care. Bye for now.